I work here in Peru for 22 years and this is the probably more important project in my career. Normally the oil and gas uh, drill very close to the, the coast, uh, 30 or 40 kilometers from here. Uh, this is the farewell in deep offshore from Peru. Repsol drilled a well back in the 90s in about water depth less than 200 metres and we're drilling at about 362 metres. We had a long transit that started in Ghana and then we did a large crew change in Rio and then we left Rio on the 12th of December and arrived in Lima on the 7th of Jan. Passing Cape Horn is something that every seafarer would like to do and tick off the bucket list. The Horn, it's always been known as a rough and tough and we went there in the summertime expecting summer weather but as the further south we got the higher the winds got and we had all the way up to about 65 knots. It was Christmas and New Year whilst we were on board and we passed the Christmas Islands on Christmas Eve so I don't think everybody can say that. You've got to look at the crew welfare and mental well-being over Christmas and New Year when you're away from your families. They were more excited because they were, it was a first for, the, for one of the standard drill ships working in, in the Pacific. This is the first time ever in Peruvian history that a well's been drilled in this water depth. The regulatory system is not set up for offshore drilling, it's more set up for shallow water or onshore. So we had a lot of challenges in terms of permitting and getting ready, and we only had a short time to do it. We work in visas, we work in permits, we work in everything related to start the operation here. We work together with the, with the state, in this case, no? with the support of the state in order to achieve these goals and have everything on time because we have really reduced time to get all the permits and business and, uh, to have everybody here in Peru. It's a long process to get work visas in Peru, but I, I've got to say I'm very proud of the team there. They managed to get it, get it done and get us over the line. We have 21 different nationalities working on board the Stena Fourth and luckily for us we have some translators on board that help us along. Communication is very important to get the job done safely. We must make sure that we don't have any spills at all on board. The drill cuttings that come back from the well bore will be shipped into skips and then the skips will be back loaded onto a supply boat and the supply boat will take all these cuttings back to town. This particular well, it's the, the shallowest uh, water depth that a standard drill ship has worked in, which poses its own challenges because of a reduced watch circle for DP. Working in Peru and this location in particular, the actual direction of the current changes very rapidly within a very short space of time. The DP model is used to fighting against a force that's pretty constant. Here, we've experienced a shift in the current which can be anything between 120 to 180 degrees within a minute. And that's just something we have to keep an eye on and know how to react to. Everyone, including our, our drilling team, who have over 40 years experience, were very impressed with the quality of the Stenner Fourth. It was an operational success and um, all our guys worked very, very hard to achieve the, the well safely. It's been an exciting campaign. It's been a long, long challenge for a, a short campaign. So if we can do it here, we can do it anywhere. I think that was a great campaign. I'm really proud of all the work performed by the whole team. We did it in a safely manner. No incidents, no accidents, that's something great. Moreover, because we have the first activity in deep offshore Peru, we're opening this to everybody.